A biplane is a fixed-wing aircraft with two main wings stacked one above the other. The first aircraft to fly, the Wright Flyer, used a biplane design, as did most aircraft in the early years of aviation. While a biplane wing structure has a structural advantage over a monoplane, it produces more drag than a similar unbraced or cantilever monoplane wing. Improved structural techniques and materials and the quest for greater speed made the biplane configuration obsolete for most purposes by the late 1930s. The tandem wing design differs in that one of the two wings is placed forward and the other aft, such that no horizontal stabilizer is necessary. The term is also occasionally used in biology, to describe the wings of some flying animals. Aviation, Overview In a biplane aircraft, two wings are placed one above the other. Both provide part of the lift, although they are not able to produce twice as much lift as a single wing of similar size and shape because the upper and the lower are working on nearly the same portion of the atmosphere and thus interfere with each other's behavior. For example, in a wing of aspect ratio 6, and a wing separation distance of one cord length, the biplane configuration will only produce about 20% more lift than a single wing of the same plan form. In the biplane configuration, the lower wing is usually attached to the fuselage, while the upper wing is raised above the fuselage with an arrangement of cabin struts, although other arrangements have been used. Either or both of the main wings can support ailerons while flaps are more usually positioned on the lower wing. Bracing is nearly always added between the upper and lower wings, in the form of wires and or slender interplane struts positioned symmetrically on either side of the fuselage. Bays, the space enclosed by a set of struts is called a bay, hence a biplane with one set of such struts on each side is said to be a single bay biplane. Two bay biplanes with one set of struts closer to the fuselage and another closer to the wingtips like the Avro 504 of World War I, were also common during the biplane's heyday and some larger biplanes such as the Handley Page Hyderabad had three or more bays. Sesquiplane or sesquiwing. Variations on the biplane concept include the sesquiplane, where one wing is significantly smaller than the other either in span, cord or both. The name means one and a half wings. The arrangement reduces interference drag between the wings whilst retaining some of the biplane structural advantage. The 1920s Pandari is an example of an aircraft with a lower wing of exactly half the span and nearly one quarter of the area of the upper one. Some designs keep the upper and lower spans nearly equal for structural optimization, whilst reducing the lower cord, allowing near vertical interplane struts. Probably the best known examples are the Nearport military aircraft a Euro from the Nearport 10 through to the Nearport 27, all designed by Gustave Delage during the Great War. The later Waco Custom Cabin series proved to be a popular example in general aviation. Advantages and Disadvantages Aircraft built with two main wings can usually lift up to 20% more than can a similarly sized monoplane of similar wingspan. A biplane will therefore typically have a shorter wingspan than the equivalent monoplane, which tends to afford greater maneuverability. The struts and wire bracing of a typical biplane form a box girder. Particularly when divided into bays, this permits a very light but strong and rigid wing structure. This allows a biplane to fly with very little power, and in the early days of aviation most fixed-wing aircraft were biplanes. On the other hand there are many disadvantages to the configuration. Each wing negatively interferes with the aerodynamics of the other, requiring greater overall surface area to produce the same lift as the equivalent monoplane. A biplane typically also produces more drag than a monoplane, especially as speed increases. Stagger, biplanes were originally designed with the wings positioned directly one above the other. Moving one wing forward relative to the other is called positive stagger or, more often, simply stagger. It can help increase lift and reduce drag, by reducing the aerodynamic interference effects between the two wings. Many biplanes have such staggered wings. A common example from the 1930s is the layout found for the Waco Standard Cabin series. It is also possible to place the lower wing's leading edge ahead of the upper wing, giving negative stagger. This is usually done in a given design for practical engineering reasons. Examples of negative stagger include the Airco DH-5, sub with Dolphin and BH craft stagger wing. 
however forward stagger is more common because it improves both downward visibility and ease of cockpit access for open cockpit biplanes. Staggering the wings may distort the box girder effect of the wing and reduce the structural benefits of the biplane layout. History Before any successful powered flight, most aeroplane designs envisaged monoplanes. The weakness of the materials and design techniques available made it difficult to design wings which were both light and strong enough to fly. Many designs used external bracing struts and wires. The Cody kite, which comprised a box kite with wings attached to its upper surfaces, took a different approach. By 1896 Octave Chanute was flying a biplane hang glider and concluded that the externally braced biplane offered better prospects for powered flight than the monoplane. The Wright Flyer biplane of 1903 became the first successful powered aeroplane. Throughout the pioneer years, both biplanes and monoplanes were common, but by the outbreak of the First World War biplanes had started to gain favor due to their better maneuverability and inherent strength, as exemplified by the Sopwith Camel. During the period from 1914 to 1925 almost all aircraft were biplanes. Sesquiplane types included the French Neoport 17 and German Albatros D. However as the available engine power increased so did speeds, and at higher speeds the bracing, of both biplanes and monoplanes, caused increasing drag. In order to fly faster, it would be necessary to do away with the external bracing to create a clean cantilever wing. Early cantilever designs were either too weak or too heavy. The Fokker V4 prototype of 1917 was an unusual cantilever triplane but suffered excessive flexing of the wings, while the Junkers J1 of 1915 was heavy and had a poor rate of climb. Up until the 1930s biplanes such as the Bristol Bulldog and Hawker Fury remained commonplace. But by the 1930s engine power had risen to the point where the fast cantilever monoplane a Euro first flown by the end of 1915, as a pioneering all-metal design from the workshops founded by Hugo Junkers a Euro took over and the slower biplane designs began to be phased out. At the start of World War II, several air forces still had biplane combat aircraft in frontline use, and some were retained in specialist roles, such as primary training or shipboard operation, until the end of the war and even beyond. Examples of biplane fighters operational in 1939 were the British Gloucester Gladiator and the Italian Fiat Creek 42. The German Hinkel He 50 and the Soviet Polikarpov Po 2 were both used in the night ground attack role until late in the war. The latter was even used by the Korean People's Air Force in the Korean War for night bombing. The British fleet air arm flew the Fanai Ray Swordfish and Alba Corps from its aircraft carriers. Originally intended as torpedo bombers, they continued to be used in the anti-submarine warfare role until the end of the war, because of their ability to operate from the decks of small escort carriers. Biplane trainers included the de Havilland Tiger Moth in the Royal Air Force, which also served beside the Fleet Finch in Canada, Stamp SV-4 in the French and Belgian Air Forces, and the Boeing Stearman in the USAF. In later civilian use, the Stearman became particularly associated with stunt flying such as wing walking. Modern biplane designs still exist in specialist niche roles such as aerobatics and agricultural aircraft with the competition aerobatics role and format for such a biplane well defined in the mid-1930s by the Bar 1 quarter CKER Bar 1 quarter 133 Genmeester. The Pitt Special, said to have been inspired by the Genmeester, dominated aerobatics for many years after World War II and is still in production while the Waco Classic YMF is a reproduction of the original Waco design. The vast majority of biplane designs have been fitted with reciprocating engines of comparatively low power. Exceptions include the Antonov M3 and WSK Mielik M15 Belfiger, fitted with turboprop and turbofan engines respectively. Some older biplane designs, such as the Grumman Agcat and the aforementioned and 2 are available in upgraded versions with turboprop engines. Other famous biplanes include the Antonov and 2 Beechcraft Staggerwing and Curtis JN4. The two most produced biplane designs initiated before 1945 are Euro the 1913 origin British Avro 504 and the 1928 origin Soviet Polikarpov Po2 a Euro each contributed to air combat within their own era, 
with similar light bombing raids for each type undertaken during the World Wars, and coincidentally with the PO-2 being the direct replacement for the Soviet Evroshka copies of the 504 itself. Ultralight Aircraft Although most ultralights are monoplanes, the low speeds and simple construction involved have inspired a small number of biplane ultralights, such as Larry Morrow's Easy Riser. Morrow also made a version powered with solar cells driving an electric motor, called the Solar Riser. Morrow's Easy Riser was used by the man who became known as Father Goose, Bill Lishman. Other biplane ultralights include the Belgian designed Aviace at Mistral the German FK-12 Comet, and the light flyer biplane. Another biplane microlight is the Murphy Renegade. In avian evolution, it has been suggested the feathered dinosaur Microraptor glided, and perhaps even flew, on four wings, which were held in a biplane-like arrangement. This was made possible by the presence of flight feathers on both the forelimbs and hindlimbs of Microraptor and it has been suggested the earliest flying ancestors of birds may have possessed this morphology, with the monoplane arrangement of modern birds evolving later. See also, Aviation History, Monoplane, Tandem Wing, Triplane, References External links, Historical Collection of Biplane Pictures, Jackie Hayes, Bird Wings Evolved from Biplane Dinosaurs, Cosmos, Spicerweb.org, Octave Chanute Biplane Hang Glider, WicoClassic.com, Waco Classic Aircraft, Present Day Manufacturer of Sport Biplanes, Biplanaforum.com, Sport Biplane Builders Website.